we can somehow avoid this enormous elongation. We can do this. And this is pretty, pretty old technology. And for every engineer from uh, civil engineering, engineering, uh, let's say, uh, industry, very known. I'll show you the graph of elongation under the law. This is just one more time, this is just the character. It's not the real graph, it's just the character. So here is sigma, which is load. Here is delta L, elongation. Okay, still gonna work something like this. Then maybe like this, like this, and failure. Something like this, okay? This is still. So FRP gonna work like this. Bam. Like this. The idea is that for the same for the same uh, load elongation will be different. And we've seen this on previous in previous picture. But for still this zone called yielding. This is a normal elongation almost without the increasing of force. You can see the difference between this area and this area. You see? So here, force increasing, uh, increases significantly, but the elongation is almost nothing. But then, small increasing of force causes huge elongation. And the total, total elongation for break and for steel is 25%. Everyone knows it. But for, for this is steel. But for FRP is maximum 4%. Maximum 4%. So what does it mean for us as engineers? It means that steel much more predictable than FRP. Let's get back to this picture uh, with uh, our suspended our suspended slab. Every engineer knows that when he calculates something he can predict and the load is, is here of course and the load is calculated in advance and he knows that this load this particular reinforcement this particular concrete uh, can cause cracks and every year or every period I don't know engineer can go and and, and uh, uh, scale, measure cracks open and as he knows that force is the same Based on cracks opening, he can predict in what particular point, in what particular point we are right now. Maybe he made a mistake. Maybe he made a mistake, and the uh, load is still the same but every, let's say, year, because it doesn't work, let's say, immediately. Every year, crack open opens more and more and more and more. So he knows that he is in a uh, uh, yielding area. And this is actually a warning. So we go to the point of failure of the system. So he knows it by the cracking open. In our case, today he come, he comes and see this is more crack, but he's a problem. <laughs> Once he turned out, but you see only 4%. So that is why engineers sometimes they are a bit skeptical about this product because they are familiar to to these uh, signals for them. Okay, this is true. So this is just a uh, matter of calculation to be honest, how to avoid it. Just matter of calculation first of all, and another thing is the matter of quality. If we tell that 
our material has minimal tensile strength 1000 to 150 megapascals. They know that they have to calculate with a margin of safety, let's say 20%. So the maximum tensile, uh, tensile strength of material they have to use there should be 1000, which is 20% less. So this is margin of safety, okay? And we as the producers, we have to know that actually this is most of the time it's like this, that our tensile strength for let's say D6 sometimes rises up to 100, 1640 megapascal, something like this. But we tell minimum we guarantee this. That's it. That's only one thing, that's only one difficulty for, uh, let's say, for engineers here. Sometimes engineers, they know that as they know, the industry here, not even here, around the world, people use scrap to remelt it. Then they produce new material out of scrap, so uh, tensile strength can be less. So they just uh, increase in diameter. They increase in diameter, and this way they, let's say, sometimes increase in the effect of them. So they just, we call it uh, making a pillow for them, making a pillow. But we see that as engineers, we have to, of course, take into account all the things and uh, the quality of product for us is pretty, pretty important. This is why from the very beginning I told you that if we guarantee some properties, they are still the same on the full length of the road. Of the road. This is pretty, pretty, pretty important thing.